How'd you feel about practice today? Uh, you know, I thought it was pretty spotty. Um, you know, I thought after the two a day, we didn't really respond as well as we should have. You know, something like that, some things we need to address. Um, looking at the depth chart yesterday, it looked like uh, Walt, you had Wallace at right guard. Do you think he's the favorite to start there at this point? Yes. Yes, right now I believe he will be. Why? You know, I just think he, you know, the spring really helped him quite a bit. Um, like I told you guys last time, my big plan is to obviously roll Jeremiah um, at left and right with Chris's, uh, you know, durability issues. So I think that's the best thing for the team. So you still expect Stuckey to play a decent amount? Absolutely. So he'll he'll be interchangeable, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel I think I'll be able to just roll him every series. A, a, a lot of O line coaches don't like to rotate a lot. How do you feel? Yeah, about you know it? I I haven't been in the past. Um, you know I just feel so good about the depth. You know what I mean? And I'm you know just being an up tempo offense. Um, you know I think it's important that you keep guys fresh. You know D lines they roll. You know every five plays. And I feel it's good. If there's not going to be a significant drop off, uh, there's no need in me not playing. You know the top six, seven guys. Do you think you, this will be the most you've ever rotated in your, in your absolutely. career? Absolutely, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. You know, especially when Aaron gets back, I think Patrick is like I've told you guys before, um, extreme, extremely valuable to us. You know, having two quality centers, uh, I feel pretty good about both of those guys. So I think it's going to be really key. It's just like how we'll do with the running backs. Whoever's, you know, thriving, that's what I'm going to play. What the what, what does Ohms need to do better uh, in your opinion? <laughs> You know, I, it's, it was nothing um, today that didn't, you know, separate the two. I'm um, just trying to give Dom equal amount of reps, you know. What do you think Dom needs to, to do? You know, for, for, for Dom, it's just his communication. Same thing we've been talking about, just his communication. There's nothing physically uh, that Dom can't do. It's all the mental part. And obviously just getting them lined up, getting the offensive line lined up is something we got to improve on. What do you, uh, when do you want to make a decision at center? Is there a timeline? I don't have one. I don't have one at all. Um, you know, I, I don't have one really at all. I couldn't tell you. Okay, so maybe just right before that. Yeah, I mean, if we played tomorrow, it'd be at it. But I mean, Dom's really come on this last week, so. Do you, do you think Dom's been motivated by the fact that he had to kind of compete for his starting job again? Yeah, I think that's that's with everybody. Nobody's job safe, and I think the the, the moment that. Uh, they uh, they realize that they they kind of turn it on. You know, I did that with Dwayne today, um, and he he picked it up towards the end of practice also. So, how do you feel like Macari's doing at that? I, you know, you know the, the biggest thing is you don't notice him, so he's clearly doing pretty well. Uh, you know, he's got uh, some some thumb issues, but you know, he he's always I've always felt you know of all the kids that I have, he's probably the most polished uh, technical kid that we have. So moving him to left tackle uh, obviously has really benefited him. Stuky was a guy who in the spring you said when he came in he's going to start at center and now he's rotating yeah. at three. Yeah, like I told you last time, I don't feel, uh, you know, it'd be, it'd be right for me to play him at center, you know, just mm -hmm. obviously there's a ton of moving pieces. Um, and like I told you last time, he's just not the most vocal kid, you know, mm -hmm. he keeps to himself a little quiet, kind of reserved. Um, and, you know, the centers are a little bit more outspoken, you know, getting people lined up for the quarterback or the offensive line, so it just wasn't a good fit. Does mm -hmm. he have any experience at center? He played center, um, I think, at Texas A&M last spring, the spring before last. So okay. that was probably it. But they weren't nearly as uh, complicated as Coach Babatov says to me. So <laughs> we'll see. How That's helpful it. is it having, especially with Stuckey, having someone like Spavadol there to kind of get, get some background? You know, it, it, yeah, it's been good. Uh, I think obviously their relationships has helped quite a bit. Um, and, and, you know, I, I, I love the kid to death. He's been uh, nothing but a joy for me to work with. He comes ready to work every day. Um, and, and that's the thing with us now, just having him here kind of solidifies your depth. You feel good about all three guards. You know, you feel good about both centers. You know, once Aaron gets back, you feel good about both tackles. You really have Cam that's playing pretty well. So uh, right now, that's where I feel, you know, we, we, we've got a chance to be pretty good up front. Cam's not a guy who has a typical tackle body, but yet he's in one-on-ones. Well, Cam's about 6'5". Oh, yeah, he's are. about 6'5", mm -hmm. so, uh, you know, he, he's done a lot of good stuff. You know, the one thing I challenged him after spring ball was just working on his feet, um, and he's done that quite a bit. Um, and like I said, he's, he's done a ton of good things, and, you know, if push comes to shove, we can obviously move Steve to left and uh, move some pieces around. I feel good about Cam playing right mm -hmm. tackle for us. Is Steven having a good camp? Is that, how's he do? He's he's doing really well. He's been a really good leader for us. Um, you know, I had a lot of good conversations with him over the summer. He's the one kind of organized all our workouts and all that stuff. So uh, he's he's by far 
uh, you know, our, our fearless leader. <laughs> if, if McCard keeps it up, do you think that he could be rotating at left tackle? Absolutely, with, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. Okay, but, guys, we got to... Uh, okay, just one quick... Uh, just describe Stephen a little bit, his strengths as physically. It, uh, you know, uh, I think, you know, Steve playing left tackle um, before I got here, that obviously is pretty valuable. A guy that can play swing tackle. Um, probably his biggest strength is his, his toughness. Uh, you know, he's battled some shoulder, shoulder injuries. You know, he set out the spring. I was here with two shoulder deals. So uh, that one and just, you know, his overall leadership. You know, he's not a big rah-rah guy. He talks when he needs to. Um, but physically, he's really put in the work this summer, and that's really shown. Thanks. Cool. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Thanks.